What's up, guys? Tech Tony here at Pathfinder Digital Marketing. Now, before we go into creating your ad for your business, I want to go over a few things about how Google Search works. This will cover a little bit about your organic side and a little bit about your paid side as well. I'm going to keep it as simple as I possibly can. If there are any other questions you may have, let me know. I'll make a video about to answer them. But I'm going to go over pretty much how Google Search works based off of the Google network. So every time you search something, you start typing in your, in your phone. Um, there are thousands, sometimes millions of results that can happen. Now, um, these web pages can have useful information, not so useful information. This kind of depends really what you're searching for. That's why I never tell my clients I can make you number one on Google because we can have two companies in this and compete, competing for the same industry or niche, and they can show up in different ways. Now, Google figures out which results to start showing you before you even start typing. Uh, that's based off of previous search history. So two weeks out primarily, Google will track what your habits have been, what you're looking for, what you're researching, and give you the best results based on that. Um, as a guide and commitment to your to provide you the best information possible. So we have a little puppy adoption here going on. Pretty cool, right? Google organizes content on the web. Uh, you may have heard me say in other videos, we got index your site. Google's going to index your site, they're going to index your company, it's going to index certain pages of your website. Um, this takes months for the Google algorithm to do. Now, when you set up a website and you set up Google Analytics and Google Ads, you tell it what industry you're in. And you're going to want your ads and keywords that you bid on to reflect that industry. I'll go into that a little bit more when we're actually building the ad. Um, the index is like a library, except it contains more information than all, all the libraries that work together. I mean, this is Google. We're talking all the information put together. And this is primarily very, very important. If you're, if you're working on SEO, especially local SEO, you want to be make sure you're indexing your site, your website in general, and indexing the section of your page as well. So in a sense, they do instantly match your search. And if you ever ran a Google search, you'll see in the top left-hand corner mainly, it'll say this many results in 0 0.53 hundredths of a second, things like that. Um, so technically, in a fraction of a second, Google search algorithms uh, sort through billions of web pages on our, on our search index. Um, and it's also on their index and their partnership indexes. So you can get results from Amazon, you can get results from Yahoo, you can still get results from Bing as well. Um, the best results was are most useful for what you're searching for. Google does its best to present the results in helpful ways. That could be in a form of a video, picture, picture ad, video ads. Uh, if you're looking for a local company, you'll see your, your company display on the maps match results as well. Uh, you also get um, your standard red dots on the map and you get a featured ad dot, which is, if you haven't noticed, they're green on your map as well. Uh, there's plenty of ways for Google to present the results for, your, for whatever you're looking for. Now, this statement is true. A lot of people have a hard time accepting this. Google does not sell results that still ads. And the reason behind this is because Google is still a business and they want you to use Google to answer questions that you have. If as a search engine, if they do not provide the best answer for your question, you're primarily going to go somewhere else. They're still Yahoo, they're still being I think Ask Jeeves is still around, but Google wants to keep you on the Google search network. So their algorithm are designed to be as fair as possible, so there are ways for your small mom and pop shops to compete against giants like Walmart, Best Buy, or Publix in this area. But they're designed to give the user the best answer and provide the user with the best experience as well. And there are different ways that this happens. Uh, reviews are a primary ranking factor for your business. Uh, your paid ads, make sure your ads actually reflect on what your service or products are, things like that. And they make money based off clicks. So Google, 
you can get impressions and clicks on Facebook, you get impressions and clicks. Facebook charges you for impressions and clicks. Google only charges you for the click. And there are ways to also leverage the impressions the right way. And impressions are uh, used to seeing the ad. And that's pretty much the basis of it all. The rest of this goes over how they're always improving your experience, which if you listen to me talking a lot, you'll hear me say there are updates, algorithm change, things like that. Um, last year in 2018, when this, so it's 2019 now when I'm filming, filming this, this video. In 2018, uh, the Google search algorithm had over 860 changes. Uh, they've had, they're always beta testing changes. So there's like, there were like over 2,000 different types of beta tests. 860 of those came to effect. And about 120 actually affected the Dothan area. And then based off what type of client I have, what type of update it is, I had to adjust their ads as needed. So I hope this helps you in understanding how the Google Search Network, network works as we go into building and running ads for your business. Um, I'll leave a link to this site in the description, and I hope this helps you out a little bit better understanding how Google works. I'm Tony, have a great day.